So let's talk a little bit about authorization and certification. And let, we're going to have to build out an architecture. So we see that happening now. Server, storage, network, firewall, software. Plus, so those are main components. Plus, location and process. All of that combined, so hardware, software, process, and location, all four of those variables combined uh, create uh, with their security controls and their security baseline as well as penetration testing, all of that equals an approved security baseline or what the U.S. federal government calls an authority to operate. This is the ultimate objective for an agency to get to an approved security baseline. And whether or not you're in the federal government or not, it still applies. A security baseline is a security baseline. And the process and those variables that make up that secure baseline are hardware, software, process, and location. But certifications are a little bit different. As you see here drawing out on the screen, some of the United States certifications, FIPS, NIST, ITARs and TAA, there are many, many, many certifications that are not represented here. But remember that certifications are typically on components that are within the system. So the system being represented on the left-hand side of the screen, remember the system being the ultimate objective of putting these components, server storage network together, is to create a system to provide an IT service like email, file sharing, etc. And so these certifications, FIPS for example, or TAA compliant, may be on a component or multiple components within that system. Again, they are just individual components. You put all of those components together, make up the system, and that's what gets the ATO. You cannot go from a certified, I guess you could, but typically you would not go from a certified server directly to ATO. You would have to have additional things, variables on top of just that certification for that single server. For example, you would have to take into, um, a, take into account uh, the network, the firewall, um, the personnel around it, and the process used to manage it. So again, in summary, a system is a collection of everything that provides an IT service, like email. A certification is typically on components that are found within the system.